guys, this is Lilith Cross, and I have the ultra premium collection for the Hidden Fates. And it's massive and amazing. I can't wait to open it. So let's get this So, unlike the tiny version, which is just the premium collection, this ultra premium collection has the 15 packs, the playmat, and the giant wonderful figurine. So, the fateful collection of celestial Pokemon in the Deep vastness where legendary Pokemon roam, it is astonishing rare to see even a single such legend, let alone three at once. This ultra premium collection combines the power of three legendary Pokemon in one set of amazing etched foil cards, plus a trove of extra accessories not found anywhere else. Hell yes. So, let's get it fully open and see the wonderful things contained in it. Hmm. Oh, that was very exciting. So here's the playmat. Oh, that's awesome. It's so, so colorful. It's amazing. I love it. So amazing. It's it's big. I wonder if the next like super awesome huge box will come with another amazingly detailed and large figure. This is going on my show. Okay, so there was actually something in the smaller Canadian version that didn't come in this, and that was just the little poster. It's the same design as the playmat, but it's it's nice that we were able to get both. Now to get all of the 15 packs out of this. And having 
finally organized my binder a bit. I noticed how few of the Full Art shinies, and shinies in general, that I actually got from this set so far, which made me truly sad. So I'm hoping this will help fill some of those empty slots and just make it a little bit more complete. Wonderful. That is good. So, for the pack battle, we already looked at the cards, so I'll just give you a closer look briefly and then we will get into the packs, which I have been heavily looking forward to. Very, very pretty. And of course, the shiny request. Let's get going. Hack number one. Wish me luck. I'll try and go fast, because really it's only the last two cards I care about. And same probably with you guys. Oh! Oh, that's... What the hell is this? Shrine of Punishment. Between turns, put one damage counter on each Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX, both yours and your opponent's. It's cool looking, but kind of like primitive, but I guess that's probably what they're going for. But my first gold card of this one, so that's great. Well, official other than the promos. And nothing afterwards, but this is awesome. Pretty good start. So again, those shinies is really what I'm after. Pikachu Reverse, and a Charizard GX. So at least getting at least something from each pack so far. Hopefully that will continue, because I'm still missing a lot from this side. I do still have one other Rayquaza box, not the like massive one today, but the smaller Canadian version. So that'll at least give me a few more packs of this set, but probably not too many more in general, which is sad. Ah, 
first scrappy pack. And then most likely not the last. opening this and my other one I really have to go through all the commons I got from this and just see how many there were. Reverse Bill's analysis. And an adorable Mew. Hospitality, non hollow. Ooh, not doing so great. Nine left. Hopefully, I could get some full art shinies that I don't yet have. That would be really great. Suggestion. And then you again. <laughs> CV. Oh, and then Misty's Water Command Hollow. This is a really pretty card, even though it's not fullered. It's still really pretty. Many, many supports as they stick together, it seems. Mm. Ah, reverse golem. golem. And what? All right, sure.
Oh, damn. Reverse berry. And a very cute non pollen gel. Yeah. Not doing so great. Five packs to go. I wonder if anything good is left. Didn't have this one, so that's great. So, Fermosa, Ultra Beast, shiny, very pretty. So HP is 110, High Jump Kick is 20, White Ray 90 plus. If you have only one prize card remaining, this attack does 90 more damage. Damn. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, this was one of the ones I wanted just because it's so beautiful and yay! <laughs> and nothing after that, but whatever. So finally, our first shiny, though it's not a full art. So hopefully there's one of those in here too. Because there are so many shinies in this set and I have nowhere near enough of them because I want more. It's the Disney princess saying. Oh, how many supports and stadiums in this one? Oh, I should do that. Ah, oh, damn. Reverse the poke and a lapis. Three more packs. Three. Always so disappointed to see anything but a shiny in this position. Reverse Mr. Mime and a basic no hollow for the last. Two more. the reverse and a on again. <sighs> Last pack. Mm, will I get a full art shiny? That would be super nice. Oh, 
Oh well. So, literally the first pack was the best. With this really cool looking stadium card. And then, hmm, I guess two thirds in, this really, really pretty shiny card, which I did want, so that's great. And of course, the beautiful addition to my shelf. And I will be using this whenever we eventually reconfigure our decks and hopefully I will kick some ass with them. But yeah, that was the ultra premium, super amazing box. I wasn't able to increase my shinies by very much, but at least I got one that I did want and didn't have. So that's good. And like I said before, I have one more box of hidden baits and that's it. So hopefully that one is kind to me and helps me increase my shiny collection. But yeah. And after this, it is full blown um, sword and shield base. Though I don't think I'll get too many of them because there wasn't all that many cards I was interested in. Obviously the VMAX ones are super overpowered and amazing looking, but there didn't seem to be all that many of them I cared about. But either way, on to Sword and Shield, I guess. So yeah, 